I'm a terrible spray painter. I mean, like, I have absolutely no skill at spray painting. Look at that. It looks hideous. Hey everyone, welcome back today to Retro Tech. I've got a quick video on a smaller CRT. This is a Sony PVM 8042Q Trinitron CRT monitor from the year 2000. All right, so this one has uh, just got a cosmetic repair going on today. Obviously, we've got it stripped down here into almost its naked form. The first thing you'll notice is the bezel has been removed. It's a pretty easy bezel to get off. The real problem on this cosmetic damage are these little rack pull mounts. They, especially on these smaller ones, they get banged around a lot. This one had a lot of damage to these rack mount. Uh, I think they're aluminum pull handles. This one had a lot of uh, abrasive cuts and nicks in it. So we went ahead and sanded it. I sanded a lot of the good outer coating of paint off and then cleaned it again and then we are sitting here now getting ready to reapply a fresh coat of spray paint here. So we're gonna do that and then we'll reattach these and uh, then we'll put the bezel back on and hopefully this will take care of the remainder of repairs needed to be done on this 8042Q. All right, so I'm sorry we'll probably catch some outside noise here, but I want you to see just my setup to get things painted. Yes, I'm using a Domino's pizza box. And what I've done is I've got a couple of toothpicks, too. Stuck them in the top of the pizza box so that they can hold my little piece of metals like that, pretty much. And that way I can paint these without having to touch anything. All right, I thought I'd show you this close up. And just, I, I want to admit, I'm a terrible spray painter. I mean, like, I have absolutely no skill at spray painting. Look at that. It looks hideous. So yeah, well, I'm not gonna you know, make you sit through that, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand down a lot of these bubbles and imperfections and most of the paint off and then we'll repaint and do that till I get it to look right and normal and not all bubbly stupid like this. So, all right, you can see we've got definitely some better results now after sanding and applying numerous coats outside here and letting it dry just a little bit at a time and now they're looking really 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 good so we'll get these inside and get them ready to install back in the bezel we're finished with our restoration of these little handles and we've got a great finished product here so we're going to just reinstall these and then reinstall the bezel and then I'll come and show you the finished product on the monitor and I'll go over a couple of final issues on it and check out this. What does that say to you? My son got this for his birthday from my mother. I mean, is that just a really fancy way of saying diarrhea? Let's quickly run through our different settings available on the input board for the 8042Q. We've got S video in and composite video in and then they have outs on line A and then they support mono audio, and then line B supports composite video in and out, and mono audio in and out. And then finally, we do have component slash RGB support on this final input down here, which is set for RGB at the moment, and it supports RGB sync, and then it has an output where you can daisy chain out your sync. You've got power input for AC, power input for DC, and then this does support batteries. All right, guys, we're gonna finish up here looking at some of these test patterns on the 240p test suite so you can see the finished product but this 8042q is a perfect crt for you to use for a test crt if you're doing something like mod work and you need something for your lab uh, this would do the job because it supports so many different types of sync and it can really show you everything you need to see uh, just to test your consoles if you're doing mod work or repairs and then it's also really great if you have not got a lot of space and you want to have a CRT experience it's still pretty good to use just as a gaming monitor um, and it even does have some portability so if you have the right uh, power setup and the right power accessories you can use this as you go on the road and I did just want to say one final thing here uh, first off thank you everybody who's been subscribed to the channel I, I really appreciate your uh, support of the channel and watching the videos and it really means the world to me. And there's a special thank you I need to say to the Patreon supporters of this channel. 
Uh, thank you so much. I really would not be able to bring you all these great videos and all these behind the scene repairs, uh, not nearly as much as I am able to. I'm really only able to do that because of the kind of general, generous support of those Patreon members. If you want to find out more about Patreon and uh, some of the exclusive stuff we offer over there, such as repair work, um, even advice and tips, and um, what sales listings that are available will all be done through Patreon for the time being. So there's a link to that in the description below if you're interested in checking out and helping out the channel. And I will see you guys next time with some more retro content.